I'm Jim, a Solutions and Network Specialist with Braden Business Systems. Today, we are talking about setting up a Windows 11 computer to print to a Konica Minolta multifunction printer. While we'd be focusing on Windows 11, Windows 10 works essentially the same way. One thing to be aware of, Windows will sometimes try to add the printer on its own. While this may seem convenient, this is not the best practice. Using a printer that Windows sets up can lead to reliability issues and could result in a higher print cost as the way Windows sees the printer. Say it is a color machine, the printer will be set up to print in color by default in most situations. So even if you have a black and white document, the document will still be processed as color, costing you color click charges for running what is called process black. I'm going to show you the best practice for installing the correct driver for your machine and locking your default settings down. The first step is to make sure your computer is connected to the network. If you're on a wirelessly connected computer, you must make sure you are on the private Wi-Fi network. You will not be able to print from a guest or public network. If you're not certain which network you're connected to, reach out to someone in your company that will know this information. You'll want to make note of what model your Konica Minolta machine is. In this example, we'll be using the BizHub C4050i. To set up a Windows 11 computer to print to a Konica Minolta MFP, you will need to download the correct driver. Konica Minolta packages their drivers grouped together with the drivers for several other models. This video will show you how to get the driver and how to install the Konica Minolta MFP on your Windows 11 laptop or computer. You can get the Konica Minolta driver by going to kmbs.konicaminolta.us and selecting the support and downloads link at the top of the web page. On the lower right hand side of the page you will click the link drivers and SDS in the customer resources box. Click drivers and SDS. In the quick search bar type in the model of the machine you want to print to. Again, for example we are using the BizHub C4050i. Then click the link shown for the appropriate model. Once you search for your model, you will get a selection of support categories. We want to select drivers, and once you have selected the drivers button, we're going to click the drivers-universal printer category. Select the Windows underscore 11 underscore 64 bit 61 category. Note the 61 will change once Konica Minolta updates the driver for Windows 11. Regardless of what the number is in the parentheses, the Windows 11 link is what you need. Note, typically you'll want to get the latest driver available for you, but there are a few things you need to be aware of. If you look down the list, you will see that you will find a universal driver, a mini driver, and a mono driver. While the regular universal driver and the mini driver behave the same way, the mono driver will only allow you to print in black and white even if the machine has color capability. For this example, we're going to select the KM Universal Driver underscore PCL underscore 3.9.737.500 underscore EIT100 underscore WHQL.zip. That is dated 8 to 24. Click the link to download the driver. Usually, the downloaded driver will be saved in your downloads folder on your computer. After the file is downloaded, go to the folder that the file was saved to. It is best to create a new folder called Printer Driver and dragging the newly downloaded Printer Driver file into this folder. Once the file is moved to the Printer Driver folder, it can then be extracted. Once the file is moved to the new folder, right-click the file and select Extract All or Extract Here. This will cause an uncompressed folder to be produced. Now we're ready to install the printer. Open the folder that you just uncompressed in the printer driver folder. Inside that folder will be a UPD setup64 file. Double click this file to launch the installer. The software will launch and you should see a screen like here. Click the agree for the software end user license agreement checkbox and then click install network search. The driver will now search for the printer. The printer will show up in the list along with any other printers that the driver detects. 
Check the box next to the printer you want. Then click the next button. We're looking for the C4050i at 10.25.56.128. Then click the install button. The printer will now be installed. Click the OK button. The printer is now installed. Next, we will need to set the printing defaults. By default, the Konica Minolta printer driver comes set with the print settings to be for two-sided and with auto color printing. We will want to set the driver for single-sided and grayscale printing. Open printers and scanners. Look in your list of printers and select the printer you just installed. Click the printer properties button. Click the preferences button. Set the print type and the select color one-sided and grayscale if they are not already. Once the settings are set, click Apply, click OK, and then click OK. Click the print test page to make sure printing is working. If so, you may now close the settings window and you are all set to go. If you use a code or login to access the copier, you will need to embed the code and credentials in the printer driver. To do this, you will need to go to 1. Printers and Scanners 2. Select the printer you just installed 3. Select Printer Properties 4. Select Printer Preferences 5. Select Basic 6. Select the User Authentication Account Track button 7. If you're using Account Track, enter the credentials, usually just a password, in the password box under the Account Track. If you're using User Authentication, you will make sure Recipient User is checked and then enter the username and the password. Click Verify to make sure the credentials work. If they do not, find out from your administrator what your full machine credentials are. Click OK. Click OK, click Apply, click OK, click OK. Close the settings window. A final note, and this is very important. Often when Windows gets updates sent down from Microsoft, these updates will cause something to happen to your printers. What essentially happens is the update will remove your current printers and set them up with the Microsoft IPP driver and with a port called a WSD port. If you check the printer properties and check the advanced tab and see the ports tab, you will see something like this. While the machine may still print, it is not using the proper driver nor the proper network connection. And this will cause problems with connectivity and may default you back to color as Windows will sense that the printer is a color machine. This is something that Microsoft does. It is not something Braden Business System does nor Konica Minolta. It is important that you are diligent in checking your printers after an update. If this happens, change the port back to what it needs to be by browsing the list and finding the correct IP address for the machine. And do the same for the printer driver. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Braden for further assistance. Thank you.